Today we've got an international space station scientific demonstration versus common sense and logic. Take it away, fella. Repurpose from a condiment. And blowing into it, when I displace the fluid with air, it will come up the straw and cover my face. <laughs> quirky space jazz music for a moment to take on board this incredible scientific demonstration and of course when we're doing that looking at the background the so-called environment this fella's doing this scientific demonstration it becomes quite obvious rather quickly that this is nothing but a charade because no man in their right mind would be in an environment with kit worth thousands of pounds computer screens laptops joysticks to control who knows what wiring no man in their right mind would be in that environment with all that kit that's vulnerable to water squirting this water all over his face no doubt to be splashed and go everywhere no one in their right mind would do that that is unless of course you're trying to sell the lie of the weightless environment which is what every single nasa scientific demonstration is about playing with things throwing things about, plenty of hairspray. And of course, it's done by augmented reality. They use and interact with items that aren't actually there. Microphones, necklaces, gold keys. And of course, water being their main one. They love to throw it everywhere to sell this weightless environment lie. And then back. The water supposedly going everywhere in an environment that's incredibly vulnerable to water and that environment costs thousands and thousands and yet the cost of payloads to go up to so-called space is ridiculous can you see how ridiculous all of this is there's no way whatsoever you could justify a scientific demonstration like this in those conditions in which they say they're doing it Unless, of course, you were trying to sell the lie of the whaler's environment, which they always are, with a hairspray for the women, and just chucking things around. Whee! And, of course, not forgetting the harnesses. These people use multiple different techniques. But there'd be no benefit whatsoever for doing this demo. None other than to sell the lie of the weightless environment. It's obvious. Absolutely obvious at this point in time. And, of course, the water here is augmented reality. It's very clever how they do it. You look with teddy bears, microphones, necklaces, water, caps. It's clever. It glitches out and they have fails. But in this instance, no person in their right mind would do what we've just seen on our screen. You cannot justify it in any shape or form in that environment in which he says he is. The only way you can justify that, of course, is them trying to sell that weightless scientifically impossible environment of a space station doing ludicrous speeds in free fall around a ball which we all know scientifically impossible which is why we get kid like demonstrations like this defended by very gullible and naive individuals